All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. King's Quest Chapter 4, Episode 2. And we just found out that Manny from the first one is the evil wizard Bananan from the original King's Quest 3 who has just taken our son hostage, renamed him to Gwydion, and thinks that he's going to come back to the, his rightful place later and make Daventry great for all creatures because Manny was a gremlin guy and now he's like a tall wizard. I'm not really sure how that happened, but either way, we are now searching for our son. Manny is Mananan. I did not see that coming. I'm surprised I didn't see that coming because the name's so similar. Um, I actually might have said something about that in the first playthrough I did of this, uh, but I'd have to go back and actually watch because nothing else progressed me to, to think that way anymore. So we are just out searching, which I know I'm not going to find him unless this follows a different storyline than the original King's Quest series. So let's find out. Any sign? The first 24 hours are the most critical. We need to search everywhere. Contact everyone, the trolls, the Goblin King. Message V, have her search in the east. Yes, absolutely. If she would respond to my letters. What? Oh, never mind. Wait. We'll work that out later. Who's not responding to your letters? Until Alexander is back in our arms. I'll reach out to Queen Madeline. Her squirrels can cover ground quickly. Good plan. We looked up every tree and down every goblin hole, hoping for a sign or clue from our son. Well, she went into the cave. Am I supposed to follow her? Or go somewhere else? Well, I can't go that way, so we must go somewhere else. So I'm really curious if this whole chapter is going to be actually end with finding him. Oh, well, this is from the first one. Are you down there? Or if it's going to end kind of along the same lines of progression that the original series went. Goblins, you better not have him down there for your sake. It's a goblin, not a gremlin. That's what Manny was. I'm coming down there. Are you really? I guess you are. I tore through that bedroom looking for any sign of my son. Is he still going to just hide in the bed? Nope. <laughs> the dragon's still alive, right? Oh, part of the blanket. I will never stop looking. And we didn't. For 18 years. Guess they did. Follow the main storyline. It's time, dear. We've done all we can. Daventry needs you to get back to work. I'm not sure if I remember how. Come on, Dad. I'll help. There's Rosella. Rosella. into a beautiful young lady. She was the perfect daughter. But it was hard for me to focus on anything knowing my family was incomplete. The Affordable Custard Initiative, really? That's the important paperwork crucial to Daventry's future? Be out searching for my son. Come now, dear. A spoonful of custard is the only joy some people get in this life. We have to break out of this funk. What about a vacation? The holiday's coming, and I've always wanted to visit the place where you met Mom. We have to get through all this paperwork first. Do you want me to whip up some choco chip pancakes? Uh, that does sound good, actually. Perhaps for dinner. Oh, I know. Staring contest. <laughs> Those always cheer me up. Oh, I don't know. I can't place her accent. Afraid you might lose your undefeated record? Well, no, it's just... Too late. Daventry Decree P33 P3 R5 states that no one can deny a starring contest when challenged by the royal family. <laughs> I knew that decree would backfire. Uh, pretty brave challenging your father to a staring contest. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, is that a smirk? Nope. I just have a smirky mouth. Am I supposed to? Seen my keys? I think I'm using the mouse to keep my my eyes by her eyes, but it's really hard. I can. This would be kind of fun to do with a like a an Oculus or something like that. It's a family name. Oh, are your eyes getting heavy? No. 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 Kinda. How do you? I don't. Can I do anything? Not funny. Okay, my eyes are really starting to hurt. Thinking on Sucks for you, Rosella. Frog Dog Fridays. Morphe's itchy back. You're gonna lose. Slipping. You are not concentrating. Oh, I am. Fight. Oh, 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 cheater! Cheaters, both of you. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Alexander? Uh, actually, my name is Gwydion. He's back! That was an easy search. Great chapter, great chapter. Thanks for tuning in, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, I'm assuming there's more. <laughs> but now Manny is a cat. <laughs> I'm very confused now because I thought this whole chapter was going to be about like the search for Alexander, or actually go back to King's Quest Three Roots and have me play Alexander for a while, make spells or something. But I don't know what it's doing. Just right from the heart, dear. Uh, I'm just having trouble seeing the point of all this. The words aren't coming. Oh, Graham, since when have you had trouble finding words? Perhaps some popcorn-flavored jelly beans would help spark your imagination? Sorry, love, but I just don't have much of an appetite, not even for popcorn-flavored jelly beans. I thought he wanted pizza-flavored jelly beans. Shot. Come on, let's bust out of here. Wouldn't you rather be on, on an adventure? We could take that trip to Kalima we've been talking about. That does sound lovely, but every moment with you... Is all the adventure I could ever hope for. It's best to take care of these things now. The doctors were pretty clear about that. It's time we tell the children. All right. I'm assuming he's dying. Yes. Your grandfather and I have something we would like to tell you. You should probably take a seat. Ah, oh, follow me. I, uh, uh, um, hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. You know that I have had many great and fulfilling adventures. But there comes a time in every king's life when he must... When he must... There comes a time when every king must hand over his tasks to a worthy successor. And that's why I am giving you the very important job of filing this letter with the official court of amendments to addendums. I need some changes enacted immediately. Amendments to addendums. Uh, was that all? Yes, the changes outlined in the letter are critical to the well-being of Daventry. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Sorry. And which addendum should this be filed under? Why, the number is on the front, of course. Addendum 48677. I see. Farewell, Grandpa. I do hope you feel better. You a little mad, Garth? been talking to me what did I do uh, 
Have a seat. Your grandma and I have something to tell you. <laughs> Not even sure a story could cheer me up. What's the matter, sweetheart? It's Gart. He hasn't said one word to me for three days. He lost in our game of wits, but I don't think that's what's bothering him. He's just been so cold and distant lately. I don't remember. Sure, whatever it is will pass. The bonds of a strong family like ours are not easily broken. I don't remember something happened to Gart in the last chapter. Actually, that does remind me of a story, one I have not thought about in a while. And interestingly enough... Go ahead. Interestingly enough, it's about your father. So it's about Alexander. So we're back to Alexander. We were in the middle of a very cold winter, and Alexander was having a hard time adjusting to the life of a loyal. So we decided the best thing for everybody was to take a family vacation to Avalon. Oh, the spot where you fell in love with Grandma. Yes, and the weather was much sunnier there this time of year. It would be a great opportunity to get to know my son. I had a thousand questions about how he escaped Mananan, but I didn't want to bombard him all at once. So, son, I thought... Perhaps we'd make a little detour so I could share one of my favorite spots. Sounds good to me. I do have one tiny request, though. Anything for my Alexander? Yeah. It's, um... <clears throat> it's that name. Uh, you don't want to be called Gwydion, do you? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's just, I figured since I have to learn a new name anyway, why not pick something with a little more spark in it? You know, something with a little mystery? Hmm. Something like, I don't know. Caduceus the Magnificent. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I always love that name. Um, you actually want to be called Caduceus? I mean, it's just a thought. More like a dream. Well, it's not a very princely name, but w we can talk about it. Really? Now, what to show you first? I'm trying to... Why, why he wants to change his name from Alexander. Like, Alexander seems like a very normal name. Maybe not back then? I don't know. King Graham the Brave, huh? One day, you will have a statue of your own, right next to mine. I'm not really sure Alexander the Brave suits me at all. Well, who else will carry on the family legacy? Come on. King Caduceus has a nice ring to it. See, like, I, I don't understand why he turned into some, like, whiny little bitch right now, because he just turned a wizard into a cat. And then stole some pirate treasure. And what else did he do in that? Then he, then he saved his sister. Yeah, wait a minute. He doesn't just come in the door. He saves Rosella from the dragon before he comes back to the royal family, which obviously didn't happen. This but. is my Wetzel Wolf patch. Zounds. When do I get a patch? Oh, you really are, my son. And this is a small sampling of my collected treasures over the years. The magic chest has provided our kingdom with many riches. Magic shield has protected Daventry for years. And these beautiful gems. Well, the gems were really just for those points. <laughs> I like looking at them. They're pretty. <laughs> That's a great throwback to episode one, even though the magic mirror wasn't talked about, but original King's Quest one, I mean. You get the shield, you get the chest and you get the magic mirror to win the game those are three items you need but there's so many random extra things in that game such as gems that you would find just for the bonus points check it out the trophy that won me the knighthood very nice wait is that a custard pie on the top of it moving on after sharing a bit about my legacy with alexander and showing him my treasures we headed into town to grab some supplies for our trip. I thought we were in Avalon. Wait. Was this the town of Avalon? I don't remember that it being called that for some reason. But look how big this tree grew! I got to see the town tree mature right before my eyes. A luxury I wished I had with my son. Yeah, no, wait a minute. We definitely weren't in Avalon. This is Daventry. That's where the game starts, and that's what the, this town was. 
I don't know why it just said we took a trip to Avalon. This should be the, the shop where the chick works. Amelia or whatever her name is. Oh, she's with Whisper. I forgot. Whoa. What in the adorable snoofdom is that? Oh, hey. Alexander, right? We've been expecting you. Amaya, Amaya. that's it. That's Whisper. Toodle pee. And this is the Crumbler 2. Crumbler 2. Whoa. What does a Crumbler 2 do? <laughs> well, does it chop? Yes. Does it lift? Of course. Will it crumble? Most definitely. But Crumbler 2 also digs holes, smashes goblins, searches for treasures, solves puzzles, battles manticores, broils steaks, tucks in whisper. So soothing. Small, solves puzzles? Feel like a pudding? Got you covered. Hate small talk? So does Crumbler. No time to tend petunias? Crumbler never sleeps. It's a reasonably priced, ergonomic, one-device solution for all your crumbling needs. And of course, it doubles as a bed. You know, in case yours goes missing. <laughs> Great pitch. Oh yeah, been working on that. Are we still working on the spends quality time with whisper feature? Uh-uh, don't be needy. Can I pre-order three crumbler twos? Bold, I like that in a prince. Well, whisper can be bold. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's pretty bold to love someone other than whisper. Daventry is so strange. You're telling me, kid. I'm just a small town gal trying to sell affordable shield swords and maces. Mace? Yeah, oh, oh, you mean the Gwydian behave stick. <laughs> I'm not fully up to speed with all the regional slang yet. The That's Gwydian behave stick. Whisper That's is horrible. not a fan of Mananen. Son, Amaya has a special surprise for you. Can you wait outside for me so it doesn't get spoiled? Sure thing. Nice meeting everybody. The pleasure's all ours. Proud you made it home. Whisper could use a snack, so Whisper will escort you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it up to your specifications? It's spectacular. It should suit him well. Your finest bow work yet. Oh, and I actually have another gift for you. For me? Of course. Just a little token of my appreciation. For all the hard work you've put into Daventry. Here you go. Wow! Is that solid gold? Sure is. I melted down all the shiny gold coins you've spent here to make it. You really have earned the title of King Graham the Brave. There's been a certain... boldness in everyone's eyes around here since you took the throne. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my... Mm, heart. Thanks, Amaya. I know how hard it is for you to get gushy. Yeah, I don't get used to it. So now we have a bow, and we have a solid gold arrow. A single solid gold arrow. And apparently this is our throne. Our kingdom. Our castle. So, how are we getting to this Avalon? Is there like a parade of royal steeds? Are they late? <laughs> I wanted the whole family to ride together, so I booked the most spacious carriage I could think of. Konichiwa, Knew it. Boy, so good to return to your gold. I mean, bold. <laughs> Holy Stromboli. You've multiplied, mated, and procreated. Ha, doink, doink. And you've let your belly day slide. I never got married. Research shows it's the number one cause of divorce. But uh, <laughs> you cheek the pinch, shalom, it, salami, that, that would probably be a true statistic. Oh, if I met this one, I'd never forget a face like that. Call me Caduceus. Oh yeah, you're that Gwydian guy. <laughs> Dad rescued me from the goblins. Pity he couldn't save you. All right, people, stop talking. Let's get this freak show on the road. Grammy boy, you'll have to load your own luggage. I forgot to pack my lifting shorts. All right. I got this. Do you want help? No, dear, I got this. I'm not sure that will all fit. Should we tie some to the roof? It'll fit. I'll make it fit. So it looks like I get to play a game. Probably just a f game of, like, Tetris, basically, with the luggage. We will do that in the next episode, though, guys. So far, there hasn't been too much gameplay. It's been a lot of story, but stick with it. I'm sure it's going to get good. Anyways, guys. See you in the next episode.